We got Leas of the Fat White Family. You just got off stage. You're a little sweaty, but you look, you're, you're a sexy man. Uh, excuse me? Are you feeling all right? Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling not hitting okay. on I'm you. I'm feeling okay. I'm Leas, feeling it's okay. okay. You know. Nice to meet you, my friend. Welcome to San Diego. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, I, I've, I, I know about one corner. Well, I know one corner. That's about it. That's, it. That's all I've got to say about San Diego. I don't really... I, I, no you opinions know. or... Well, this is the thing. When you drive around in a van and, and play gigs in places, you see like a backstage room and, a, and maybe a garage, and that's about it. That's it. You kind of nearly see the world. What have you seen in America that has like, amazed you? Mm, that's amazed me. Is it, I, know, I know people in L.A. that can buy, buy drugs using card. Uh-huh. Okay. I found that amazing. Um... There's an app for how everything. Pol how polite people are. It took okay. me a while to work it out, and then I realized that it was either because they're afraid the other person's got guns or they need a tip, you know? Don't have to worry about that back at home because typically there's, there's not guns around. So you can be a smartass and not nobody's, fear that nobody's you're going to... Nobody's polite. The Americans yeah. are very polite. Because you're worried somebody's going to shoot you. I had to work you. out some detrimental reason why, just to, you know, make my natural habitat seem more accommodating for when I go back. Yeah, well, what is so your... I've decided that it's only because of guns and tips that you guys are ever nice to anybody, which is cruel, you know. <laughs> but, not you know, me, not I me, mean, sir. You know, given the current climate, it's... My uh, mother you know, brought me up right, but I, got a, I had a good upbringing, so I'm just nice to people. It's easy to be nice to people. Hang on, we, have we got... That's all right. Come on in. Who's, who's coming in? This is a live interview. This is live interview. We, got, we have some more fat white family. So I find are you, it... Are you, are you voting Bernie? Did you vote Bernie? I will be voting Bernie. I'm a Bernie He's fan. preaching to the choir asking uh, people who are possibly ever going to see this to, to vote for Bernie, isn't it? You never know. San Diego's got a lot of Bernie fans. We can well, do Where anything. were they tonight, man? Where were they tonight? We're very vocal about our support. I didn't hear you. Did you support anybody on stage? Did I, did I hear you denounce Trump? I didn't oh, hear no, you. No, we sang... Uh, the Fourth Right? We have a song called I Am Marky Smith, but we changed the lyrics, or Saul changed the lyrics to I Am Donald Trump, which fits just as well, really. Sure. I mean, they're both kind of like... Uh, uh, hyperactive children with uh, kind of uh, I don't know what you what, 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 how would you call it, you know nuclear egos. Sure, yeah. You I've know? I've met Marky Smith before and uh, yeah, I'm yeah. inspired by him. I got to do oh, some, he's my, he's some my, whiskey. He's my number one. He's my is, number is, one. is that a big inspiration for the Fat White Family? Is that's is why I wrote ball? that song? Yeah, 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 yeah. I find them funny as much as I find them ad admirable. You know, admirable. You guys are amazing. You've only put out two albums. Your second album, so um, Songs for Our Mothers? Songs for Our Mothers. Thank you. I got it right. I had a little brain fart I think it's, there. You know, yeah, it's doing great. I think we've, we're, into, we're into triple digit sales here in the U.S. now. <laughs> you, triple you digit? Know, uh, triple digit. Uh, <laughs> so you can afford that, that, that pimp-ass white band you got there. Back, we can afford to get yeah, like back to L.A. tonight. This is the start of the tour for this album here. It's the start of the tour. That's why right? I kept forgetting the words. That's terrible because you're too busy. You've been with the moon landings, right? How many moon landings gigs did you do at Austin no, for South Park? I, I, only two. I'm going to be only honest two? with you. You know, but I mean, it was it was very because that's a band with a fucking electronic setup all that right. stuff. You know, it was kind of a bit of a mess. You know, was you get used to. You get used to having a tour manager, and then you come over here and you do these things with a new project, and you're like, back to square one, you know, like, nobody knows what the fuck's going on. But you have Sean Lennon involved with that project? He helped mix, or uh, did a remix of one yeah, of the new no, tracks, right? Yeah, no, he was, he was the, the, for the album, he was on, on production, and we recorded it, or finished recording it up at his studio. We did it mostly at Dean Horner's studio in Sheffield. Okay. Uh, with those guys. But, um, yeah, that was fun, man. You know, opening for Iggy was a good laugh. I saw you. I saw a video of you watching Iggy Pop, and it looked like you had a big smile on your face. It was nice. Yeah. Did you yeah. meet Iggy? Pop? I think we. I. I didn't. I. Do you know what? I didn't meet him. No. I, I. I saw him hanging about, and I thought, I. I know how I feel in that in that state of affairs. Sure, uh, sure. You don't want some twerp coming up to you. you know? <laughs> I hope I'm not a twerp. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, look at that. Leas gets drinks delivered to the bar. What are you drinking? That looks like a Cape Cod. Is that vodka and cranberry? Campari soda, man. Campari soda. Are That's you? It, man. You're not drinking? It's a, myth. it's a drink. Campari. Campari. I don't drink Campari. What the hell Campari is Campari? Is, I think so, it's like it's like ro essence of a rose. Essence of rose. Essence of rose. Oh. It's like basically what you drink if you're a knob. <laughs> <laughs> well, I drink a, a, something similar, but it's vodka cranberry. So know. it looks I'm not weird. Not much of a drinker, you know. Not much of a drinker. No, you I like am. hard drugs. I, no, no, I no? don't know. I don't know. I'm just not like I don't have like much of a stomach for anything. 
You're a skinny man. I like man. everything, but like you know, relative to me, I can't handle very much. Everything in moderation. But I mean, that's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? You know. Because, How uh, much do drugs and alcohol uh, help create the music of Fat White Family? I don't think they help create it at all. No. All right. Whatsoever. No. They're just like uh, an unfortunate consequence on the road to any kind of uh, creativity you might happen to stumble upon. Are you guys a dangerous band and a political band? Um, I feel you're a controversial band. I mean, what what is the response? You're, you're playing. No, no you I just... consider our, us, I, I consider our band to be uh, dangerously generic. Dangerous. Okay. Dangerously generic. Do you feel like it's been done before, and you're not? Doing I, I feel like it's been done. But it hasn't been more done than in a, a while. more than a million times. More than a million times. We need it's a new like, resurgence, uh, Leas. You're bringing there's it no, back. No, no, there's no. That, you see, that kind of talk is the reason why everybody feels fucked off with themselves. That kind of shit. All that right. kind of like uh, hype. You know, that kind of like you know, we gotta you know sell the article we got to sell the paper we got to sell the item clothing we got to sell the venue we got to sell this we got to sell that you know everybody wants to 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 win and it's not a boxing match it's not a fight it's uh just what you do to uh entertain yourself uh and i think that kind of chat adam you do, do you agree with me what? what what our band is about is accessibility because none of us are it's the, yeah the art of patheticism isn't it yeah yeah, it's like, you know, there is, there is, there isn't, there isn't such a thing as trying, basically. Well, anybody can do it. I mean, you're inspiring people to go out and start their own fucking bands. Probably not. Not. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't care. I don't, you don't care. All right. No, I'd rather be a, a teacher or a, you know. A, you have a history background, right? Isn't, isn't you went to school for that? Yeah, I did. I went all the way with school. Sure, yeah. Like, uh, in I, I read your story. You woman. graduated, and all these kids that supposedly you were in class with, they, they had means. They had elements yeah, that's to a get them. That's a simplistic interpretation, because I have means more than most of the people in the world have means. And if you look at things, you know, across the board, then uh, it's extremely unfair. And I think, like, in particular, the situation that you got with the Middle East is a fundamental, and especially coming to America. Now, Europeans are, are just next to that world, you know. Right. There's a lot of that in our culture. It's just there, you know. You go on, people go on holiday to Tunisia, or at least they did before they start bombing the shit out of it. You know, <laughs> Americans are particularly isolated, and, and they have a they have a very dangerous ignorance, which is exploited by people like you know, Bush Trump. or whatever, you know. Sure. It, it makes people like Clinton seem uh, viable, even though they uh, they're not. I right. mean, Clinton's a, a, a fascist as far as I'm concerned, and uh, his wife's the same thing. Um, whereas uh, in Europe, there's a lot more accountability. Sure. In essence, but not really. We're just a, a you know, a walk growing out of the side of America. Now, I think, um, <laughs> I think what 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 I do is is totally inconsequential. Uh, sometimes I have a good time. Sometimes I have a bad time. <laughs> I love okay, this. I this makes good interview for me. I don't care. This is raw. Man, nobody's there. Ooh, the ghost. I mean, not like. There's no bringing it back or anything like that. But basically, there is. There, nobody's getting paid for it anymore. Right. Nobody's right. getting paid for it anymore. Yeah, it's That's completely different. Where you sell fifteen thousand records now after five, six years of work. You used to sell 150,000 or whatever. Right. You know? I mean, you guys are lucky. You actually have some American support. I mean, you've got somebody supporting your record, trying yeah, to promote. Awesome, but they'll drop us in a minute, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's exactly. It's not making any money. But you're making, you're making your own story. No, I get paid 800 pounds a week. Rent in London and even the shitty areas that I used to live in, South London and that, is 600 pounds. Uh, not a week, sorry. I get paid 800 pounds a month. It's 600 pounds a month to rent a room in London. So I don't have a room in London. So... I'll go to London and I'll play a sold out gig in front of 2,600 people and then I have to sleep on my old studio manager's like couch. I like that about you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I want you to be successful. That isn't... But you're doing it... It's neither here nor there. I, I, you know, I like that people that, that are hungry, though. That challenge is... A challenge. Your, it makes uh, better music. At some point... Or another, I don't think... No, it doesn't... But why should... You know... You're pushing the boundaries and, and like, you know... People that just sit and and 
uh, wait for something to happen. I mean, I don't know. I, I go and watch. I see the name. Okay, Fat White Family. I'm like, okay, this band name, just alone the band name interests me. Then I go see a video, and, and I watch Touch the Leather for the first time. And I'm like, oh, the music. Then I see some dude's ass go flying by the screen. And I'm I'm pulled in. I'm pulled in. And it's not a it's not a sexual thing. It's not anything more than this is this is speaking to me. This is magical. And I, I love it. I dig your band. I'm not kissing your ass. I'm just a fan yeah, of the Fat I mean, White Family. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think. I do, well, I mean, how am I supposed to answer that? Thank I don't you, know. Thank you. Did, you, know you can what say I mean? whatever you want. You can tell me to piss you, off. You know, it's like kind of. Do you get I mean, a lot of admiration? Bit, What's it like a, to work with Yoko Ono and Sean Lennon? That might. That's no, kind of a cool. Bit, thing. I, I'm seeming like a moody cunt now. I'm not. You know, I like I mean, it. I'm seeming. That's like what I want. I want to push no, your buttons. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I want to see your heart tattoo. The heart. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, no, but like, it's, 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 you know. Who I is the know. Fat White Family? Because I feel like when I see that name, I'm thinking it's an homage. Are there Fat White Families in the UK? I feel like there's more Fat White Families in America. Is, the is, Fat White Family is an accidental Bowie reference. Okay. Uh, Saul's old uh, label boss used to refer to himself as the Fat White Duke. <laughs> while he was DJing, he saw it on his wall like 12 years ago, and then when we started this band, he was like, mm, fat white family. But he wasn't a Bowie fan, really, so, I mean, he likes Bowie now, but back then, no. So it was, yeah, without any of us knowing, it was kind of, you know. And were you guys all, were you kind of squatters, and, and did you have, uh, like, were you kind of just living... On not working and and how did the band? No, I, I mean, yeah. some of the stories I'd read it sounded that you guys were yeah, like yeah, on a, a squat pad or something like that. Pretty much that kind yeah. of lifestyle. Yeah, we didn't have anything, man. Nice. Uh, That's where the best bands come from because I like a band that has to struggle I, uh, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it was just taking the piss. You, you get to a, you get to a point where you're like infuriated by everything, and London's even worse now. We had a little bit of luck, but like, it was like years of that kind of stuff, man. I moved to China. You did? Yeah, like halfway through starting this band, I moved to China. I remember just when the crash kicked in, walking around London with a bunch of CVs, west, east, north, south, trying to get a job as a barman, and I couldn't get fucking nothing. Wow. You know, I had, I had plenty of qualifications, you know, it was like, uh, and we were like in this little shitty fucking house, you know two people in a room or whatever, you know, up the job centre all the time, go to a fucking job club where they make you take, like, basic mathematics and English proficiency tests just to try and kind of, like, you know, aggra you. aggravate you enough sure. that, you you know, you, f you feel as intimidated and, like, demeaned as possible because of this experience to make it, these hoops to make you jump through. And I lost it, and I was like, I moved to China. My big brother lives there, you know. I was an economic migrant. I was there teaching English, getting paid a reasonable wage. I did six months of that, and then it was like, oh, actually... I am capable of holding my stuff down. Yeah. Like, I'm not like a complete uh, social and professional r retard. It's just that uh, I've been cheated. You know, my suspicions up to that point I thought were drug induced, but in actual fact, no. no. It was the other way around. You know? Yeah. How uh, long did you live in China? Six months. And you were, where were you were born in, in not Scotland? I was born in Southampton, but I grew up in Southern Ireland, Scotland, moved and Northern Ireland. Your father Ireland. was yeah, Algerian. I moved in my, year. my father's Algerian, and my well, mom's from Yorkshire. So she's Caucasian. Okay, I, I was I was curious. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. never made note of that. It just said your father no, was Algerian. No, but I got a big brother who, who he, he migrated to China. That was long before the crash for different reasons. So when did music become the thing? I mean, what what drove that? I, I think I, I was into art initially, because you can do art at school, I guess. So... I was obsessed with painting and drawing and all that stuff, but in my heart of hearts, I used to listen to music all the time, and that affected me more than any other medium, and therefore I had heavier fantasies about affecting other people in that capacity. So, like, that for me was the ultimate achievement, if you could do that to somebody else. I remember hearing these things that sort of came, you know, I was living in a small town, Northern Ireland at the time, when I was a teenager, I was very lonely. There wasn't any kind of punk or alternative scene, you know, I was this kind of, like, weirdo at this segregated, you know, Protestant kind of like, you know, we are fucking, you know, bread hand of Ulster on the blazer kind of thing. Music was kind of like Johnny Cash or Hank Williams. Or, oh, wow. You know, kind of Bruce Springsteen even, you know, you wouldn't get any anything 
Interesting. It was like only the big guys would foot through that size of okay. net. You actually have a song that kind of has a little country vibe on the new album. Well, yeah, we always I like a bit of country. You know, That's interesting, know. yeah. I love your band. You have uh, a song about Hitler and Goebbels talking about the Fourth Reich. Uh, I love it. I just, I love you, you, you put things in people's faces. Band, everything about music today is just too simple and too easy. There's no confrontation. Well, some of my favorite local bands, you know, provide that. Some of my favorite bands from all over the world like, yeah, provide like, that. You know, it's like the high streets you walk down, or yeah. the main streets, I guess you call them. But yeah. somebody, I mean, even they've all got to be the same now. I love that you're political and you care about our country. Like you're not voting in our country, but you're making an impression. Yeah, you have I an mean, opportunity. A, you know, it's a, so it, America. America. It, we all live in America. Yeah. <laughs> That's you know, kind of a sad statement the French, in a way. The Germans and the Spanish get off the hook because they speak a different language, but they're, they're part of the same deal. But the British have got it worse than anybody else. I mean, we're just your, your fucking poodle, basically. I mean, well, I'll no be your poodle, please. No that, you know. Well, I appreciate you doing music, and I love the new album. And I don't, you guys... do, I don't do music, really. You, know? you what? I don't do music, really. No? What do you no. do? I don't know, posturing. You're, you you have a swagger. You have you, you know. There's a handful of bands that I appreciate, and I, I like. I don't know. I just you know. It's like there isn't any. I don't know. Everybody should give it a crack, really. And exactly. That's, that's, that's what the, I mean. That's the depressing thing, you know. And I think when you're at the West Coast here, like I've been in LA for three weeks, you know, and there's loads of great little spots and venues, and because it's so broad, sure, it's kind of ungentrifiable the whole thing. Right. You know, London, New York are both ruined. There's none of them cracks that people, you know, you're a bit of an oddball and you don't really know what you're doing. Yeah. There's none of those, like, I look at this venue here, you know, and nobody really showed up tonight, which is aggravating because we played beer before and it was a good show, but whatever, they don't give a shit about us, I don't care. But it's like, you know, these kind of spaces, they don't, they don't exist in London anymore, man. We've lost half of the venues since 2007. Really? I, yeah, been 50%. About yeah, that. yeah, it's like, just fucking cut the head off it, you know? So there's just nowhere to go, you know? Nowhere yeah. to go. It's like, I don't know. For me, growing up in London, it was like something to look forward to on the weekend, nothing else. Sure. That's like all a, I live for is music. It wasn't for a me. career move, you know. But now I want more kids to be into that. And, now and it's now from now on, it's just going to be famous people's kids and people who are fucking, you know what I mean? Like you can yeah. kiss it goodbye. Like I think as a medium, it's. Well, then thankfully, you know, the fat white family comes along, and and every once can, in a while, you know, there's a, you're not going to change the world, but every once in a while, a band can come along. I love. I mean, here you are in the Casbah. You're all the way from the UK. You're playing tomorrow in LA. You're gonna have a yeah, bigger show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, you know, I don't. This think is rehearsal about it. tonight. I don't. Yeah, I don't think. Of, I don't think about it in, in terms. You know. But you're having fun. You're enjoying it. You get to see the country. You get to be in this band working. You know, the moon landings are great. This yeah, band's great. You're yeah, in your band with your brother. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I just, you know, I, I'm scared of the fact that I, I don't. Just enjoy the ride while you can. I don't have any where to live or any money. <laughs> Well, you know, here we survive on burritos and the Mexican food in San Diego yeah, yeah, is much yeah, better yeah, than yeah, L.A. Yeah, so yeah. you should get a burrito before you go back up to L.A. Okay, I'll and come back that. again. Don't let this show tonight get you down, all right? It doesn't can I have a hug? Yeah. That's Leah's Fat White Family. Songs for Our Mother is the new album. And uh, there's a great piece of artwork on the back. Where did you find that little piece of uh, Nazi ceramic? Oh, that was Adam. He saw it at somebody's house. I don't know. I have no idea. It made uh, it on the album. He was like, yeah, sure. You know, he took it on his phone. I, I love it. Controversial, fun, punk rock, art music. You do it all. It. I dig it. I dig it. I hope I hope you get to achieve everything you ever want in life, Leas. Right, I dig right. your band. Thanks for playing San Diego. Fat White Family. Songs for our mother. Get it now. It's on Fat Possum. He doesn't like you. I'm trying the best. He doesn't like you, no. Buy his record, though. <laughs> Cheers.